Let me ask you, where are Kenyans annoyed at Mutai? The way he replied to the lady who asked him that question. This was the CS yesterday. On the issue you asked about my son, I do not have a son in my house who is less than 18 years old, which means that there are adults, you can follow them and ask them. <laughs> what is wrong with that answer? Because Twitter has gone crazy saying he's rude, he's arrogant. How is he going to run national policy if he can't control his teenager? That boy is over 18. At Ezekiel Nae, Dr. Yakafanya Nini. You know, Ezekiel defended Kagwe. Yeah. Aki Ezekiel Mutia Amtumwe Nani, Etawatea, Mutua. Yeah. He regrets ever putting up that post. I think where people are very idle now. Aki Kenyans went harm on Ezekiel Mutua yesterday. What was on a pressure? Na stress. You know, the way Kenyans talk on social media. The way they talk on social media, when Mutai talks like this, then you get annoyed. On the issue you asked about my son, I do not have a son in my house who is less than 18 years old, which means that they are adults, you can follow them and ask them. Okay. And some of the comments, let me just sample some of them. My only problem is the CS is just one, the arrogance in his response. You are saying at a sisi we are above 18 to see you lose to see you lose we pia to take mamba yake. He responded the way, in fact, it, this is a very kindergarten way of the way Kenyans talk to each other on social media. Where we annoyed with him, Ebu give me a call. What was wrong with the way he answered that journalist? 0711046105 is my number. I will really want to hear from you because we are accusing everyone in government of double standards, yet we are playing double standards here. If you want me to send you the replies to Ezekiel Mbutu yesterday on Twitter, I will. Then you tell me. Well, when you come out, you're going to pressure. Pressure, Gani? Stress. You, you, is, want, you, you do not vent. take your stress to Mutai. But it has got nothing to do with your stress. How was that rude? How was this rude? On the issue you asked about my son, I do not have a son in my house who is less than 18 years old, which means that they are adults. You can follow them and ask them. Purity more than the pigi on Yambi, why you are annoyed with that statement? Aki Kenyans, and the way we talk badly on social media. 0711046105 is my number. Where did Mutai go wrong? Hit me up on Twitter at it's mine again you are classic 105 Kenya. Hashtag was mine mine is mine and Kingangi. Why do we find him very arrogant? And why are you saying he's arrogant, he's rude? If he can't control a teenager, how can he control national policy? We've really gone harm on him this morning. Nikki, let's talk. So yesterday, in a normal press conference, Motai Kagwe was asked about his son, Kahush. Kahush, who just went and he was pictured on social media at a party. It was bambine. There were no masks. There was no social distancing. So Mutai was asked about it doing a COVID-19 briefing. This was his response. On the issue you asked about my son, I do not have a son in my house who is less than 18 years old, which means that they are adults. You can follow them and ask them. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. Isn't that how we Kenyans talk? Seriously, Carol Kong, you're saying it was not right the way he put his answer to the journalist, but he must have been provoked. We talk even worse than this on social media. You saw Ezekiel Mutua trying to defend him yesterday the way he was abused. Uh, you are forgetting how the former president. By the way, if it was more, by, why didn't you say Kibaki was rude? Mafia, kuku. Bure kabisa. Anime, he was really using expletives. Yeah. Na wewe mutu aje ya kuapie. Wewe usha wei ito mafia kuku before. 
<laughs> Seriously. Bure kabisa. Mshawa <laughs> hitu, has anyone ever looked you in the face and told you where ni mavi ya kuku? Mm. Mm. But suddenly, Motai says something that I find very, very mild and it's a problem. Chance Dongoero, good morning. You're saying, although Mutai Kagwe sounds uh, arrogant in his answer to that irrelevant question by the journalist, his son should take responsibility for his actions. He's an adult, yes. He's an adult. Felix Agola, you're saying, his son is a Kenyan. So when he's pointing out at some people directly, like he did for Migori Driver, who he said had ferried an empty coffin, he should do the same for his son and point him out for partying. Hey, yeah. Dicky! Jamal Ochola, a rapping a teacher. Good morning, you're saying, as a father, you act as an example to your kids. Same as the leaders, not preaching water and taking a mzinga. Where are we angry with Motai? Hello? Good morning. Good morning, Big Papa Pumping. Hey, how are you, Akanai, Big Papa? Many kosalama salmin. Yes. Sasa. Hey. Maina alitumu wa London kusoma. Hey. <laughs> Kahusha alienda London kusoma. Hey. When they came back. Hey. No, but said that in the Maliza Shule, Lakina Likujana, another whatever, another parent hidden somewhere. Yes. Sasa Ukienda, Waki Sasa Waja Sasa to India Maria Babake. Yeah. Namutu and I to a Trump. Yeah. And we have nowadays uh, these journalists who are just like after the bad news. Every time you can't, re you can't report something that is positive. Yes. You just want to go. It's like you are attacking. Ni kama sasa vile unaonaka uhuru akiongea hiki kitu, mtu anataka hata kumkosoa kila saa. This is a guy whereby amekuja juzi juzi is loaded with pouts. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, some yeye ni ni patezili anaenda wanasanitize huko chini. In a indirect babake anamwambia you are on your own ukishikwa huko usinipigie simu. Exactly. Yes. Unaelewa? Nimeelewa. We deal with people who are so arrogant. Yeah. Social media has been like the thing of pulling each one another down. Yes. You know, it's like everybody is like having a bile on each and every whatever. That's like, Kagwa Kiongea, Nikama Unona, and Akukosea. Nakagwa is there to do whatever that he has to do. Yeah. Because other to Kiana Mari, Kama Spain, Ama Twena Mari, Kama Italy. Kagwe is the one who is going to be blamed. Lakini Kagwe sent a message to the son. You are on your own because you are over 18. Amen. We buried the sister, whatever, Nani Ule Mustana, our partner, Nairobi Hospital. Ule Alikufa Juzi Juzi. And then my son and the Kwa Mamaka because there's nothing you can do. Nime Kwambia Wacha Kukunyo Abangi. Nime Kwambia Wacha Kufanya Ivi. Usiki. Serikari Kuzika. Iyo ni Jauriako. Yeah? Amen. So now everybody who is on the social media for doing fighting, whatever. Kai Goma. Well, well. Goja, what can I? Eh. Ule Nindugu ya Uhuru. Ule wa Gedora. I know I'm talking about. Well, well. Why are you telling now that I'm going to Ule? Eh. Mulari Kwananda Duman. Eh. Mulogoso. Eh. 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 Those clips, we need them. <laughs> the archives, <laughs> we need to go to the archives. This is a guy, this is a billionaire who is walking in like a pauper. You think, you think that is a brother? Ah, yeah, where, 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 who could order, where, where? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, what can I? Good day. Good day, my brother. Okay. <laughs> and it's so true. On social media, we are savage. We have zero chills. 
when one leader responds in a certain way, it's a problem. How? On the issue you asked about my son, I do not have a son in my house who is less than 18 years old, which means that there are adults, you can follow them and ask them. <laughs> what is wrong with that response? And how is that rude? And how is that arrogant? When Niambie, I talked about Mutai Kagwe, my God, he's caused so much drama. On the issue you asked about my son, I do not have a son in my house who is less than 18 years old, which means that there are adults, you can follow them and ask them. Okay, when Kenyans have just gone to social media and have lit it on fire, Regina Nims just saying, he could have just replied like a civil, civilized man with his, just a no comment or it's been handled accordingly. Simple, instead of being rude. Where are we seeing Mutai as having been rude? Ken Wapishori, you're saying that was so irresponsible of him. He's trying to lecture us who are older than 18 years old. Apeleke kiburia kembali. How are wafungulia clubs to kunyo? Magufuli is surviving without even wearing masks. <laughs> you know, Molibu asked me a question a little while ago. Are we stressed? Is that where we are exhaling in such a savage manner on social media? To kona pressure. He pressure him to happy. Where does it come from? <laughs> Kiongozi, good morning. You're saying unprofessional, my foot. What did you expect him to do? Tag his son along and burn him like the biblical Isaac? Or live in the son's bedroom so as to control him? Or better still, cage him? Be realistic and stop being too petty. The best he can do is warn and rebuke him, which some pessimists think he has not done. The stringent measures taken on the ambulance and Kisumu issues were taken long before the president lifted movement measures and announced on all national media that it's now a personal responsibility for everyone to protect themselves. Mutai San and yours too, now neither exceptional nor saints. Those angels who are bashing him have as recently as last night done worse things than Kahush. Let Mutai be. I'll end the message. They will not finish it. Nini Nimbaya? Hello, Maina. Hi, good morning. Thank you, Maina. Yes. Eh. Mimi ushangana wa Kenya. Eh. Wa Kenya wanapenda fitina sana. It took bus. Wanapenda fitina na kasheshe. Yes. Kwa nini wanaingilia mutahi ka, kagwe na huyo mtoto wake si mtoto si mtoto si mtoto si wa mfuate wa muudize yes strictly wa mfuate wa muudize wa wachane na mutahi wanajuwaje ikiwa alimkalisha kando kama mzazi haka muongelesha kwa ni lazima waambiwe apana that's it wachane na e na familia yake amen amen thank, thank you very much hello Good morning. Hello, good morning. My, uh, the question is, mm. what should happen to Muktai Kagwe's son now that there is clear evidence of gross uh, misbehavior? Yeah. Rather than, you know, what, what's wrong with Muktai? So the question should be, what should happen to his son? Because many people are over 18 and we know what happens to them when, when, when the, such things happen. Yeah. Americans are hurting because they've lost jobs due to that ministry. Yeah. We are in the advent of pan the pandemic. Yeah. And that's the ministry responsible. Kenyans are hurting. So we cannot have a situation where we are defending uh, any responsibility with arrogance. We yeah. Have, yeah. So there was an element of arrogance in the CS's response. Hello? Ah, that's the one I wanted to talk to. Hello? Hello, good morning. Morning. This joking and joking. Yeah. Uh, on that issue, uh, uh, that guy, he is a grown up. Yeah. And on the other hand, yeah. uh, there is something that comes with leadership. Yeah. That is responsibility. 
but my uh Kagwe did not say anything bad but there's something called responsibility that's why the journalist asked that question but the way he answered that's why the people the kenyans are seeing like he yeah. was rude but he was not rude he was just trying to say that guy is a grown-up so you can go and ask him those questions even if you want to arrest him i think you can do so yes but that guy is a grown-up but on the other hand why the kenyans are seeing this guy is rude because there is something that comes with leadership you have to be responsible of everything even your own family okay that's it all right yeah. thank you very much okay what say you we're talking about mutai kagwe and i cannot believe the anger i am seeing on social media Purity. You're saying, fine, he's a grown-up, yes, but these kids are untouchable. Unlike us, we know very well these kids cannot spend a night in a cell. His dad will call and say, well, uh, uh, yes, he was rude. That's your point. Your point is that Mutai, Mutai was rude. Susie, you're saying, is exhausted. We don't deny that. And so are we. But that does not give him the right not to answer questions professionally. He'd rather have apologized sarcastically, I suppose. Where are we having a cow and a chicken with how he responded to that question? That's, that's what I'm just not getting. Eric Nyamoya, you're saying the question was deeper than that. The whole point is about government's role in our lives. The government has put in place laws and regulations in light of COVID-19 and it's enforcing them. And Kenyans are observing them. In regard to COVID-19, Kagwe is the face of the government. His son cannot do that. Minor, I got your tweet saying Mutai should resign. If ordinary Kenyans uh, and not sons of politicians were filmed doing that, by now the FBI, DCI, NYS would be hunting for them. Hiya, the key is even getting to res resignation. Hello. Maina, good morning. Morning to you. Uh, Mina ito Ali. Yes, Ali. Nataka ni changie kwa hiyo manendo ya CS Mutai. Karibu. Shiba ya wa Kenya wetu Maina uh. ni ile wanalaumu uh, CS yeah. na kio CS alileta hii ugonjwa yes ni kweli yes CS in fact anangangana kiasi ile anaweza ambaka anatupembeleza kama watoto yake anatupembeleza aki tafadhalini ashumke mwenye hako karibu na wewe hako na hii kitu hata kama ala ashum tu hako na na exactly na hii kitu kwani wa kenya wanataka mtu wafanye nini za wanafikiria hiyo kiti ni raisi buwana hile hile watu wanaongea vitu kama hii mina fikiri ni hile watu idol wenye wana kitu wa kufanya amen yeah thank you very much ok hello 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 good morning good morning waina yes this is eric from vitale yeah watu wa atale na mutai wana yee Hizi kijana this is a grown up boy. Yes. Huyo ni mtu anajiamulia maisha yake mwenyewe vinye anafanya. Exactly. Eh, hey, wao tena nae, wao journalists pia nao waangalie mahali kwa the platform ya kuuliza maswali mengine. Yes. Eh, hey, hiyo swali it provoked him. Exactly. So akajibu vinye alifikiria. Amen. But Mutai is right. Okay kama ni kumuongelesha huko nyumbani amemuongelesha amemuongelesha kijana yake so huyo si mtoto labda amemuongelesha mambo mingi atujui the family matters huko nyuma exactly but when it comes to media unajua they ask any question from anywhere yeah <laughs> aki so kwa kwa provoke ya kajibu venye alijibu <laughs> but as a father mudai is right all right wachane na kagwe achape kazi asante have a good day have a great day to you too okay while well, he's having a good day why don't you have the final word huh what's our discussion though it's incredible the way a lot of people are talking about motei kagwe's response to the journalist yesterday chance man is saying my own parents right now i've got no idea what the hell i'm doing if i went drinking and partying i doubt that i'd call them to just give them a heads up about that let him be 
Felix Agole said, with all due respect to him, Kagwe's arrogance is growing by the minute. There's a nice way of answering a question, even if it's about your adult son. I remember not too long ago, he didn't mind saying Kahush was his son. Suzy was saying, before pretending to take care of Kenyans, he should try and learn, apply, and enforce that same law to his family. The key! Ved Moragi Paul Ndongo, you're saying the CS has a role to put his house in order, but he can't be blamed by the carelessness of his grown-up son. When a dog bites a man, that's not news. But when a man bites the dog, it's a press conference. Journalists need to ask professional questions to get professional answers. Cryptic Norman, you're saying, I'm sure he knew, and he was mad that the son alifanya vitu against what he's preaching uh, that paints a bad picture. But I, I like how he refused to rebuke the son in public. You know how African fathers are proud fathers. Like somewhere in the background. I don't get it. I really don't. When you see the way we respond to each other on social media, it don't make sense. Hello, my name. Hello good morning. I'm from Kabete. Yes. Naina kuna wazazi wako kuinje wanaomba tu kama vijana wao ama msichana kasi tu huko nje siku na police and baby conviction of like 5 10 years so that they can learn wengine wanaomba kama mtoto wa tuwa kufa ya zike mmm wanaomba mtoto wa kufa ya zike abondokee nje nyamsumbwa yeah ukiona mimi kagwe akiongea hivyo yeah Huyo mzee ameumia, ameongeresha kijana tuwa next tent. Yeah. Ame soka. Yeah. Yeah. Huyo, tu, tu simura umu, ukimfuatiria pale nyuma. Aha. Uh Hizo -huh. so, wasira likuwa na azo. Aha. Uh -huh. I guess. Yeah. She had it. Yeah. Eh, we are only responsible for what we say. Yes. How people understand, it is theirs. It's their pro by problem. Yeah. Okay. Good day, my name. Okay, good day. Hello. Hello, Maina. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Yes. Okay, Ken okay Kenyans, Maina. Mm. They fail to think well. Yeah. For instance, if if you take yourself as you walk away, you yeah. Yourself, yeah. You will just take this and answer it the same, same way Kagwe answered it. Yeah. So Kagwe has got no problem or now he answered. Yeah. Because. Th this is something that has gone viral on social media. Yeah. So he was right. I support him. Yeah. So if we take ourselves as if we were Gagwe. Yeah. We could not feel the way Gagwe felt. If 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 your son does what Gagwe son did, you yeah. are, you are not questioned as a parent why your son did so. And he's an adult. Yeah, yeah, it's an adult. Okay. Thank you very so much. Okay. Okay. Asante. Have a great day. Let the man be!